Right, just a quick video. Sorry for being away for so long. I have exams coming up at the moment, so I'm pretty much spending all my time revising um, and I'm barely been riding my bike m that much either. Um, so the video is sort of one of my priority, but that will change in about three weeks when I finish uni for the summer and I'll be able to make loads of videos and ride the full time. So anyway, I hit my big goal for the year, um, 350 watts for 20 minutes. I like to be fair, I don't really think it was possible at all. I thought, you know, I get 345, thought I'd get that, you know. Um, and then, you know, my FTP, when I said, was like, you know, 327, so it was like, it looked possible, but I thought my eight minute test would have um, over-exaggerated, but it didn't. And I hit my 350 watts. Um, I've been eating pretty well recently, got down to 61 kilos. So that means, you know, 5.7 watts per kilo for 20 minutes, which, you know, it's all right. It's not, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. I think it's decent um, compared to like an average person, but I think, you know, compared to, you know, top, top professionals, it's obviously not, not, not unbelievable. Um, but this is the climb. So it's basically Cheddar Gorge, um, quite a strong headwind on the day, which is good. Um, so you can see, I basically start at the bottom and it flattens off. Um, slightly uphill, but you know, it gets really fast. So sort of after this climb section here, it's really fast. Then there's a little bit of a climb here again, as you can see, and then fast downhill. Uh, the way I paced it, the first sort of 13 minutes were 354 watts, which is, you know, pretty solid. Um, and then sort of the last five minutes were like 340 watts. I found it really hard to suddenly put the power out at the end because I think I overcooked the pacing a little bit. I was aiming for 353, 354. Um, and also I think the other thing was obviously you know, it's it, putting out 350 watts or whatever on the downhill is, is quite hard. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I'm happy with what it was. Um, maybe my power meter overeats. I'm not sure it does based on other data that I've seen. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little. But anyway, I think the reason I thought it overread was uh, because I was heavier than I think I was. Like going back to Thailand, I thought I was like 60, 61. But I think realistically, I was probably more like 63, 64. You know, and a three kilo difference on, you know, on a Deutsche Tep, for instance, makes a big difference. Um, but yeah, so in training peaks, you can see the old file, 350 watts for 20 minutes. Um, and you know, it's, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I thought my Wahoo messed up, um, uh, but you see normalized power is 350 as well. So, you know, I didn't pace it completely dreadfully. Um, and you know, that, that does confirm my FTP is about 333 watts, uh, which again, at my current weight is about 5.55. So, you know, five and a half to 5.6 watts per kilo. Um, which again, it, it's, it's decent, it's decent, um, but it's, it's nothing absolutely off the charts. Um, but we'll just have, go have a quick look at Thibaut Pino's um, power data um, because, you know, it's something that really interests me um, comparing myself, which you might think is a bit ridiculous because I have not much race results. Um, but, you know, just, just comparing myself to, um, you know, world tour professionals, how they started off. Um, so we can look, you can see in 2008, uh, when Thibaut Tipino was, uh, I believe, a first year under 23. So I'm now a third year under 23, maybe. I'm quite old, to be fair. 21, yeah, 19 would be first year. 20 would be second year. So I'm turning 21. So I'm third year under 21. So realistically, if I was following Thibaut Pino's trajectory, I'd be at 6.2. So you can see I was at 5.7 uh, watts per kilo. So, you know, that's basically I was the same as when Thibaut Pino, more or less, um, was when he was 19. So, you know, that, that that's this is pretty pretty like st like decent for him um you can see some other numbers so it's normalized for like two hours was one is so average power is 4.7 i'm not sure if this is normalized or not but 4.7 i mean i could probably do that um it's what's peculiar for 10 minutes for six which would be 372 watts so i reckon i should be able to do that um and then five minutes is 6.4 and I, i've done 400 watts um at 61 kilos before i'm going to do a five minute test um so that's 6.6 .6 watts per kilo so i think you can see that like I'm probably a bit more punchy than Pino was back then. Um, but yeah, so I, I think hopefully I should be able to get that up to close to seven watts per kilo. Um, I'd say one thing I noticed with Thibaut Pino's power data is that his endurance is unbelievable. Um, you can see here that he, in 2013, he did almost five watts per kilo for four hours, um, and which is which is ridiculous. And you can also see that his drop off in terms of power is, is not much. So for instance, for an hour, he could do five watts per kilo, 45 minutes, 5.2, for 30 minutes, 5.4, and for 20 minutes, 5.7. At the same time, did he do an hour max? I'm not sure. Um, maybe at the beginning, maybe not. But then you can see here that, you know, he's pretty good. His sprint is a lot better than mine. Um, you can see his 18 watts per kilo uh, for one second, which is, um, you know, uh, 1,098. So, yeah, I've, I've hit that 1,100 watts. But what you can basically see is that at this moment in time, if you just went on power data, I'm about what Tiba Pina was, more or less, uh, when I was, like, 19 years old. Um, when he was 19 years old, sorry. So, you know, it's like, 
it's not dreadful uh, at the moment, but the thing is I've got a lot to learn in terms of racing, uh, in terms of like how to do a pace line. So my last race, got in the break and then just like wasted so much energy, had used way more power than everyone else. Um, and, you know, I, I have 300 normalized, which is, you know, 4.8, 4.9 watts per kilo for two hours. Um, and other people in the break have way less or maybe maybe more watts, but watts, watts per kilo less or some of the weight and they had less less watts. So yeah, I definitely need to learn how to race more. Um, but in terms of numbers, like it's not looking terrible. Um, will I go world tour? Probably not, because um, according to what I think, I also the, not 100% sure I guarantee I agree with this um, power completely uh, because I know James Knox the date the the year he signed for quick step when he came you know came top 10 the Tour de Lavinia has some good results um he did six and a half watts per kilo for 20 minutes which is about 380 watts at, you know um at 58 kilos 59 kilos so um you know if I could increase by 0.7 watts per kilo then maybe you know it'll be it'll be looking up there uh, but I think the main thing for me is not watts per kilo because to be honest I live in the UK where most races are flat or not hitting enough for a pure climber uh, and I think the other thing that you have to realize is that it's race results Ed Laverick apparently um, he says you know he's done 380 watts at 58 kilos 59 kilos so you know six and a half watts per kilo and to be honest he's racing in UK continental team and like you know it's fair he's a, he is a UCI continental pro but like at the same time you know if he'd maybe got some results I know probably, there are probably other people who aren't as well have got better race results who are racing on higher levels so I think realistically it's like your power is important, but I think I've got to the point now where my power isn't really that important. Like if I go from 5.7 to 6 watts per kilo, um, as I lose a couple of kilos, that will help me on a climb, not a hill climbs, like I'll be doing well. But in terms of racing, unless I get my race technique better, cornering better, bunch confidence better, you know, all that sort of thing, it, it, that's what's limiting me. Unless I have like 6.5 watts per kilo for 20 minutes, then yet yeah, I could just, even if I couldn't race, I just have so much more power that I'd be able to, to ride. But at this moment in time, the power is there. Um, and like, you know, 330 watt FTP, like it's not, it's not bad. Like, as in, I'd say in an average race, you know, you, you'd be, you know, decent. Um, but it's just how you use that. Um, so yeah, I think, and also what races you do, like for sure, if I race in Italy or, or France where they have maybe more 20 minute, half an hour climbs, then yeah, obviously that would help me a lot more instead of the UK where there's shorter climbs. But having said that, you can still be light, like Max Stemmons, like 52 kilos and gets around tour series, um, races and other stuff. So again, that's also to do how you ride. Um, but yeah, and I think the other thing that I'm gonna have different to Tibo Pino is the hours on the bike. I physically can't do, um, the number of hours that he does on his bike. So he does 500 hours in a year. I mean, like, I'm, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. Like the number of kilometers, maybe this year I could do, but I can't do 20,000 Ks a year. I, I, I don't, I can't do that because I, I'm like, I go to university, you know, I, like I'm not full time while well, he is. And so I think that's also another thing that obviously, like, you know, going from 5.7 to 6.2, let's say, that might be possible if I only train 20 minute power, but then I'd be useless in races. So it's, it's none of those things where you, you need a lot of, um, you know, miles. But anyway, like, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, and if, you know, when I started cycling, you would say, like, get to 5.7 miles per kilo for 20 minutes. I'd be like, oh, fair. Like, I thought five would be like, nah, I can't get more than five. Um, so now I guess the, the goal is six for 20. Um, which to be fair, I probably could do if I really concentrated on my weight, got down to like, and lost weight. But realistically, I think for me, losing weight was like not really a priority until hill climb season when, you know, it, it's obvious. Or if I was, you know, going to a race, which was really hilly in the UK, generally, I just want to improve, improve my race taxes, improve my, uh, my power. Because I mean, in the UK, as I always say, it's always about what's not what's per kilo. Um, unless, you know, obviously that's not true hundred percent, but generally, um, you know, if, if I weighed a kilo extra and had 10 watts more that'd be way better, um, for example, um, in comparison to weighing a kilo less and having like similar power or losing power. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy. Um, I'll leave my Strava link if you want to see what training I do. Um, I might make another video on that, but you know, generally it's just threshold, um, threshold stuff, races and VO2 max stuff. Um, and yeah, that's it. So anyway, cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy uh, and I'll see you in the next one.